I am not crazy. Um, however, I do believe I am barely balancing on the tightrope between sanities. I should have never left old Arya. Yes, it was plagued, but my sister was there and she needed me. Had I known of her fragile condition, I would have stayed and tried harder to help her, instead of exploring a world that I was not ready for. Now I have fallen into a spiral, a hallucination, but I'm not crazy. It started when I got her letter. I guess it's from her. Dear Stanzi, I know before you left you said you would come back for me. We could start a new life together once you got enough funds for treatment, but I am afraid I will not be able to join you after all. Something came over me and I needed to destroy something, anything. I burned my estate. I smashed the windows and left for new Arya. Everything was fine in this Arya. I made a friend. I was enriched with gold and diamond and netherite. Beacons, too. Everything was fine until I went to her funeral. I saw my aunt, but I could not hold eye contact with her. Not after everything. Not after her. Not after my recklessness. I'm not crazy. Arya was severely underdeveloped, so I took matters into my own hands. I tried to start an economy, but sin was an issue. She was against my ideas and hinted towards communist ideals. We would not survive with this ideology. None of us would. Not when other kingdoms could thrive and wage battle whilst we do nothing but pick flowers. Then I realized things started changing with me. Mentally, emotionally, but also physically. I don't know what's happening to me, but my eyes keep getting brighter and my dress changed color without me even doing anything. I'm not crazy. Then there's Sage. They are my only reason I can continue like this. They share the same ideals as me and want a prosperous future for Arya. They realized alongside me that sin was a problem. Sin realized that we were stealing from her fields, but we weren't wise enough to cover our tracks. Eventually, she found out and it was that it was us, and we needed to get rid of her. Sin is a very kind individual, and if she spoke against me, my power would be gone. It's our word against hers now. Then a man named Jack came along. He's as sharp as a marble, but it doesn't mean he isn't useful. He caught me on a bad day and I lashed out. Eventually he apologized, but in reality it really should have been me apologizing. Nonetheless, he helped me by hanging up posters for the auction. The auction for many valuable things, including Sin's bones. All evidence must be destroyed. Jack confuses me, but at the same time, I think I understand him to a certain point. Sage is on to me, though. They are worried about their future, understandably so. I have reassured them that no harm will come our way, and we did what we needed to do. We had to do it. I'm doing it for the greater good of the soon-to-be kingdom. <sighs> Life is a game, and I am going to win. But I'm not crazy. 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 I'm not crazy.